What's up, this Devo? You need to go down to MD Supplement Store and tell me what you got on my supplements, homie. And I'm getting better. And I'm proving it. I told you months ago, you people online, Jose's best days are behind him. I knew I was getting better. I felt better. So they, were, they were saying that like 10 weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Jose, what do you got here? All right. Since I'm uh, the Boston Mass from Boston, and I'm heading up to Toronto, I thought it would be wise for me to bring some gifts. And uh, like in Gladiator, and he said, win the crowd and you'll win your freedom. I'm going up there with a bunch of my friends' stuff. A guy by the name of Jerry Cheevers. He was a Toronto Maple Leaf. Oh, okay. And I got his shirt. Nice. Oh. Unmasked, this guy is an animal. That's signed? Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Huh. This hat. Nice enough to give me this stuff, to bring it up there, to be able to give away to fans. So, uh, if you guys are Jerry Chiefs fans, come see me at the Expo. I'll make you do some silly push-ups or something to win them. As we know, uh, a lot of you know already, I went down last minute and won the New York Pro. This is now Monday. I spent most of yesterday shooting with Turbin Isle. Shot with Aaron Clark, a leg workout. It was pretty good. I was exhausted, dropped a few pounds. I'm already way harder today than I was at the show. So uh, today's gonna be a fairly high carb day to put some weight back on me and then we'll come down, dry out and be freakishly conditioned on Saturday. You know, while we're talking about this Pere Bernal shoot, I bet he might've got a shot that's probably cover worthy. I think uh, if you guys wanna see Jose Raymond on a cover, why don't you let C. Blackman and MD know and yeah, yeah. it might just happen, huh? Let's get it done. Jose fans, make yourself heard. This is just like with what I do with legs. I uh, got to warm up. Lots of warm-up sets and pump the blood in there. Get those elbows ready to move some weight. Let's put the record clear about Friday. At what time of day, Friday, did you actually make the decision? to do the show? Uh, around 4.30, 5 o'clock. I was doing cardio, and uh, I had talked to Weinberger, Steve, and he said, you're more than welcome to come do the show. I understand the circumstances, and you know it's up to the promoter whether or not they want to let you come do it. And he said, come on down. If you're, if you're in shape and you think you can beat Sammy and you think you can beat the top guys, come do it. I was worried your legs were going to be a little inflamed and retaining some fluid. They were. But more than, as everyone says, I'm not known for super deep separation anyway, so mm -hmm. I wasn't but, worrying about that. They were know, going to be big, round, and vascular. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I was more worried about being able to pose them because yeah. they were so sore still. Yeah. And then by Sunday morning, I was in agony. And of course, Pear, Steve wanted me to shoot legs. Oh, Christ. So we would leg press in, leg extensions, front squats. There it is. Boom. One, two, up. Up. That's good. Nice, nice, nice. Now we need a drop set. Take one off, boy. Yep. One more. Woo. Oh. 
train arms yesterday too for the photo shoot? No. no. Wouldn't have been surprised. No, nothing surprised. Had I stayed, they would have had me. <laughs> for sure. They wanted me to stay all day today. Oh boy. I was losing weight by the second. Sure. Okay. You reach? What I love about this gym, Jose? It's the music. It brings you back to the Roxy days. I feel like we should all get glow sticks when you walk in the door. Free GHB and ecstasy. Some lollipops. Some gl glow sticks. <laughs> I like this thing. Yeah. I put the seat all the way up. It doesn't bottom out. Keep that tension all the way in the tricep. Helps with that belly of the tricep, yeah. It's better than one of your gym? Uh, no, it's the same one. Yeah. Show, me that, show me that arm shot that you uh, did for the what? did for the photo shoot. my back. Like At the end, we'll peel the shirt off. Yeah. People notice, like, I was getting harder, harder with every pose. Getting better. And Sammy was beautiful when he first came out and faded. Kind of started losing it, you know? Yeah. And I couldn't see it, but I could see from his body language he was tired while I was getting riled up, you know? Yeah. It makes all the difference in the world. You know, being aggressive and confident on stage. Which he's got no problem with confidence. Right. And he's a phenomenal poser. But, uh, it could have gone either way. I want to go on record right now. Had Sammy won, I would have been a, you know, you, you always want to win, but I've been very respectful and honored the decision. And uh, he's awesome, you know, he's beaten me two out of three times now. So. It was two points. It came down to two points. Yeah. So. One point in the morning, one point at night. Doesn't get a lot closer than that. No. Two of my greatest. Arch enemies yeah. I've taken out there, Flex and now Sammy. Yep. You know, I'll go on record now saying there's nobody I haven't beaten now. Right. You know, uh, other than Kevin, and you know, I wish him the best. I hope he's okay and uh, hope he's healthy enough to come back and give me that opportunity. You know. But as it stands, all the guys in the top five at the Olympia. I've beaten every one of them now. So there's no reason I can't go and win. we're here, I like this machine, I can do one arm, almost like a one arm isolation curl on a preacher bench. I don't fit in here comfortably like this, so I kneel on it, do one arm at a time. Risky. I mean, if, if you had gone in there and taken second, do you really think it would have been you know, that damaging to your momentum? No, because Sammy's awesome, and, uh, and you had no, you know, you weren't supposed to compete. Had I gone in there and took fourth, which at this level is not impossible, you know, yeah. um, that would have been very risky. But I like taking risks. I'm going to go up to Toronto and stir things up this weekend. So stay tuned, people. You never know what's going to happen when the Boston Mass comes to town.
My range of motion is shit on this. Mm. But I feel that it's incredible. It just looks like I'm barely moving. So a lot of people ask recently about those drag curls. If you notice what I'm doing, I don't actually do a drag curl, but I don't let my elbows come out in front of me. That's how I do my bicep curls, period. Even if I'm doing a dumbbell curl, I keep them right here. I don't do this. Yeah. So I keep the elbows back as much as I can. It's the same idea as a drag curl. I think to optimize your you know bicep use in any bicep exercise your elbows should be back so it doesn't have to be a drag curl per se where it's actually touching your stomach but just be mindful that your elbows are back not coming forward you watch here you're back Now, if I wanted to, I could throw my shoulders into it and come out here. But it takes a lot off the bicep. And I'd rather just blast the bicep and get it over. words before uh, you head off to Canada in a couple days. Um, good luck to everybody. I'm bringing my best. Bring yours. And uh, everyone be safe. Travel safe. Have fun. Congratulations to uh, all the winners in New York. And uh, good luck moving forward. Thanks for watching all these videos. Whether you like me or hate me, keep watching. There you go. Views. Get those views up, people. That's it, baby. <laughs> See ya. What's up? This Debo. You need to go down to the MD Supplement Store and tell me what you got on my supplements, homie.